Hello friends, welcome to the channel Gairi and Salkai. Today we are going to discuss about a very important topic, Snellen's test type. It is named after a Dutch ophthalmologist, Herman Snellen, who developed it in 1862. It is used to measure visual acuity. What do we mean by visual acuity? Well, it refers to clarity of vision and is therefore dependent on both optical and neural factors that is number one sharpness of retinal focus within the eye number two health and functioning of the retina and third sensitivity of the interpretative faculty of the brain in simple words visual equity comprises all basic features of vision and therefore measurement of visual equity by Snellen's test type gives an idea about vision of the eye. Coming to the procedure of testing visual equity by Snellen's test type, the patient is seated at a distance of 6 meters from the Snellen's chart and the chart is properly illuminated. The patient is asked to read the chart with each eye separately and the visual equity is noted as a fraction. When the patient is able to read up to the last line, the visual equity is recorded as 6 by 6 which is the normal visual equity. Similarly, depending upon the smallest line which the patient can read from the distance of 6 meters, his vision is recorded as 6 by 9, 6 by 12, 6 by 18, 6 by 24, 6 by 36 and 6 by 60 respectively. Now let us understand the meaning of this fraction. The numerator means the distance of the patient from the letters and the denominator means the distance from which a person with normal vision can read the letter. Suppose a patient is able to read only the first three lines and the vision is recorded as 6 by 24. It means the patient can read this line from a 6 meter distance while a normal person can read it from 24 meters. Similarly, if the patient is able to read only the first line, the vision is recorded as 6 by 60. It means what a normal person can read from 60 meters, this patient can read from 6 meters. So, how do we know the distance from which normal person can read a particular letter? Here comes the concept of minimum angle of resolution. It is the minimum angle substantiated by two points on the nodal plane of the eye in order to see them as two different points. Therefore, in order to identify this letter as E, these two points must be seen as two separate points and for this the two points must substand an angle of 5 minutes of an arc at the nodal point of the eye. This angle is known as minimum angle of resolution MAR. It is achieved at a distance of 60 meters for this letter. A person can read this letter from any distance less than equal to 60 meters but not greater than 60 meters because after this angle will be less than 5 minutes and the two points shall not be seen as two different points. The minimum angle of resolution that is 5 minutes is made by each letter at different distances that is topmost letter makes at 60 meters, next one at 36 meters, next at 24 meters and so on. Also, this 5 minutes is equally distributed between the solid and blank spaces such that each contribute 1 minutes and 1 into 5 we get 5 minutes of an arc. Let us look at a question. What is the angle made by the topmost letter at 6 meters? We know that topmost letter makes an angle of 5 min minutes at 60 meters. So, at 60 meters it makes 5 minutes of angle. We can see that as we go closer to the letter, the angle increases and as we go far away, the letter, the angle decreases. So according to question, the distance is decreasing from 60 to 6 that is by a factor of 10. So the angle must also increase by a factor of 10. So we get 10 into 5 is equal to 50 minutes. Now coming to the test, what happens if the patient is not able to read the first line from 6 meters? We move the patient towards the chart. Suppose now he can read the first line from 3 meters. The vision is called 3 by 60. Or if he is able to see from 1 meter, the vision is 1 by 60. 
but if he is cannot read from one meter, we cannot move him further because distance can only be measured in meters. Therefore, minimum visual acuity that can be measured from Snellen's test is one by sixty. Also, vision less than three by sixty is considered blindness both according to India and WHO. If the vision is less than one by sixty, we shift to finger counting test. Fingers are kept at one meters, and if not answered by the patient, then near the face. If the finger test is negative, we move on to hand movement test. If the patient cannot distinguish the hand movement, that is hand movement negative, we check whether the patient can perceive light through projection of light test. If not, the vision is said to be PL negative. and the patient is called absolutely blind if he can perceive light he is known as pl positive and in pl positive patients we look for pr projection of rays light is thrown from all quadrants inferior nasal superior and medial and we look for which part of the retina is functioning now the basis of snellen's chart is formed since and illiterate people cannot read it So for illiterate person, we use E chart or C chart. The patient has to tell the direction in which the mouth of the letter is opening. For small children, two to five years, picture chart is used. For infants less than one year, we use ERG for testing visual acuity. ERG stands for electroretinogram. Thank you for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. and stay tuned for more videos